Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com. It is Saturday. I'm here at the Sanctum at the Outlet with a weekly South OC calls and coffee. Let's go check it out. No merchandise tent today. And the reason for that is because Simon, the founder of the show, is a SEMA right now. So his company, The Bracketeer, is a SEMA showing off his new products and stuff. All right, check it out. This is the first Rivian R1S. So this is the SUV version of the electric Rivian. Yeah. So it's not as big as the pickup truck. So it's like almost a foot shorter, but it seats seven people and he tented the window so they can't see inside really. Right. Yeah. 830 horsepower. It weighs 7,000 pounds. So it's a, it's, it's a, Oh, it's a whale, basically. It's a whale. But even though it weighs 7,000 pounds, it does 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds, thanks to four motors making 830 horsepower. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Super whale. All right, attracting the most attention is this uh, Mustang. And what's unique about it is that uh, it's electric. It's electric, so check it out. <laughs> I see. It looks like there's two Tesla motors in there. Wow. So. And I imagine there's probably two Tesla motors in the back too. It's probably got four Tesla motors. Oh, cool. Look at that. Uh, no back seat, probably where the batteries is. Charge. Oh, look at this. It's a huge tire. I need to find out the specs of this thing. Wow. That's awesome. All right, so we have a Lamborghini Huracan. Nice, red, with a red interior, red and black interior, so check it out. Nice, Huracan Evil, carbon fiber seats. Really nicely done interior, I like it. And next to that, we have a Ferrari. Convertible. <laughs> And next to that is a giant Rolls Royce. The, the Dawn, yeah, the Dawn. And this one's got blacked out grills and a, a blacked out spirit of ecstasy. Nice. Ferrari California. A Gallardo. 992 Turbo will be. This is the factory, uh, the factory aero kit that, that is available if you don't want the standard wing or standard spoiler. So the, this piece here inflates out. You could put it back in because you go with a speed bump. Here's a Huracan Spider. GTC Turing, Maserati MC20. Is you could have this or you could have a 911 Turbo. Uh, this definitely looks better than a Porsche, but is it a better car is the question. Another Ferrari Spider. Okay, the back is up, so we take a look at the engine here. Uh, there's that naturally aspirated V8. And this giant Ferrari muffler with the width 360 on it. And then we have here a GT4. GT4. <laughs> GT4. Uh, Porsche, but it definitely have enough insignias on here. GTS. Italia. Ferrari Italia Spider. The last naturally aspirated V8 Ferrari. And a GT3. And then nothing but empty row. I am early, like the show hasn't officially started yet, so cars will still be coming in. Or maybe everyone's in Las Vegas for SEMA, so the turnout isn't as high as it normally is. It's the Saab. <laughs> the Saab. With its tilted, with its tilted uh, four cylinder. Yeah. It's tilted at an angle instead of, you know, it's an inline motor tilted at an angle instead of straight up. 
and it looks well it looks cool you know oil cooling i have to wonder about oil cooling because yeah it's at an angle <laughs> porsche row classic 911 convertible 911 another convertible 911 uh, a renegade 911 and it's called renegade because well this guy is a renegade instead of having a a flat six like every other Porsche 911. This has a, a big Chevy LS V8. That's right, American power. The way it should be. Turbo. And here we have a Targa. So this owner has it partially open to show how it works. It's, it's really interesting because there's so many levers and motors to make this thing work. So this thing goes back. Uh, this top goes in there and this stage goes back here then this goes back on it's yeah it's it's a piece of engineering that's for sure it's for sale by the way so if you're interested and another Porsche another Porsche an Audi R8 V10 one more Porsche this is a classic one I think this might be an air-cooled one let's check out the motor and check it out yeah it is an air-cooled Porsche nice yeah. And a turbo. Ah, more Porsche. This is like basically Porsche Row. Yeah. Huge Porsche club in Orange County. <laughs> nice Woody. I like it. Complete with surfboard. You know, you gotta have a surfboard, you have a Woody. More woodies. See, no surfboard. Just doesn't look good. There you go. Surfboard. You need the surfboard. ZR1 Corvette. <laughs> Exposed engine that just shows the top of the intercooler. Uh, supercharger in this case. Uh, 427 Corvette. Yeah. Complete with side pipes. Side pipes. Whoa. Check out this Camaro. It's big block Chevy. Yeah, MSD fuel injection system, MSD distribution for the uh, ignition, billet wheels, huge back billet wheels. It's completely done out. I mean, wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is impressive. <laughs> Celine Mustang with a giant wing in the back and a giant supercharger on top with a shaker hood. And of course, sticks with the hood because, well, that's how big and tall the motor is. Mustang GT500, Shelby. Yeah, one of the best looking Mustangs out there. 1965 Mustang GT350. 1967 427 Corvette convertible and uh, a Lotus Elise with the hood up. So let's check out this motor. Ha ha ha. Ah, there it is. A little four cylinder. Well, you know, it's just a small and light car, it doesn't really need that much power. Hot rods. You get true hot rod, sticks up with the hood or have no hood to begin with. There you go. ZL1 Camaro with the supercharged engine. A uh, Umblebee Camaro with a aftermarket pro charger. Yeah. Check out this AMG GT. It's got the hood up so we can get a good look at the front mid-engine layout. So check out, there's, there's the motor. You notice it's behind the front wheel. So in between the front and the rear wheel. So that's called a mid-engine. Uh, most mid-engines are like this McLaren. The engine is here, but it's known as a mid-engine because even though yeah, it's more toward the back, but it's when it's between the front and 
The rear wheel is considered a mid-engine. So this is a mid-engine. As you can see, the engine is between the front and the rear wheel. So they moved it all the way back for better weight distribution. Uh, they can see the air intake. And you can also see the hot V turbo setup. So you see the turbo or uh, between the Vs. And this allows for shorter piping and less turbo boost, faster response. Okay, so this is South OC Cars and Coffee. Happens every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11. If you're a car guy, you need to be here on Saturday. John Chow for JohnChow.com. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, uh, give it a thumbs up. Please like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.